I'm going to go over how to install and set up the Polar Extension Bot V3. If you already know how to use it and you just want to learn about the new features, you can skip to the following timestamps. Before you even download the bot, log into your target account and make sure stay logged in is checked. Also make sure that this account isn't being used for any other bot or ACO, making new target account if you have to. Within the actual account, have one address saved, set that as your default address, and have one payment method saved and set that as your default payment method. If your account is brand new, I would recommend buying something that you would normally need for around the house to potentially reduce your cancel rate. This is what I did for my brand new target account, and once I actually got a checkout, it did not get canceled. I can't say for sure if this will also work for you, but I'm just giving you my personal experience. Time for the bot. Download the extension bot from the free bots channel, or if you're in the free discord, it's going to be in the guides channel. You want to go with the latest version. Right click and press extract here and it'll give you a folder. Go to your manage extensions page and turn on developer mode. Then drag and drop the extracted folder into your browser. Pin the extension, like so, and you've successfully installed the bot. Before anything, you need to set up your billing profile. In the extension towards the bottom, go to Manage Profile and Settings and Add a New Profile. You can name it whatever you want, and for the shipping information, it doesn't actually matter what you put in here, since it's going to be using the address that you saved in your target account. In a future update, I'm going to outright remove these fields. What really matters is the payment information. Make sure that whatever payment card you're using in your target account is the same exact card that you set up in this payment information section. If you don't see save profile, you can zoom out and you'll be able to see it or just repeatedly press tab until you're selected onto it. Then press save profile. In the extension, set it to the profile you just made. I would recommend to only have one profile at a time. From here, you can just use the bot as it is. Just turn it on and set your quantity here Camp out on the target monitor channel and if something restocks that you want to buy, click on it, you'll get directed to the product page and the bot will automatically go through the checkout process. But if you have the premium version of the bot, then you can just set it up in a way in which it will click on the product for you. Meaning that you don't have to be at your computer for this bot to try and get checkouts for you. And it's faster too because it'll click on the product the moment it's detected. Exhibit. A. This member got a 151 booster bundle while literally driving. He just set it up on his computer and let it run. But before we go over how to do that with the monitoring feature, it'll be more efficient to set up the price checking first and you'll see why later. Target sometimes charge inflated prices, but as of the past couple of weeks, they haven't been doing that. So you don't have to set up price checks for now. But personally, I like to do this just as a precaution, especially if you decide to run this bot unsupervised. So in the price check settings, we can put the SKU of the product we want to have a price check for. So put the SKU of the product in the SKU field and the max price in the max price field. So if something retails for $30 in the max price, I would have max price maybe like $34 or whatever max price you personally want to use. Press add and it's going to show up under your current price checks. Alternatively, you can mass input where you can have a list of SKUs semicolon followed by the corresponding max price, one per line. I recommend doing it this way because it saves you a lot of time. And to find a comprehensive list of SKUs and the MSRP prices, it's going to be located in the Pokemon Links channel and the Premium Discord. I've also made a list for price checks that you can easily just copy and paste into this field, which covers most of the profitable Pokemon cards. And they should all be added to your list and enable price check. If the price in the product page exceeds your price check, it will not move forward with checking out the item. Now for the Discord monitoring feature, which will allow you to run this bot completely hands-free. If you decide to use this, log into Discord on the web browser that you decide to run this extension on. Then go to your Discord settings, advanced, and turn on developer mode. Go to the channel that you want to monitor. In this case, it's going to be the target monitor channel and right click, press copy channel ID, then go to the extension and go to the Discord channel monitor settings and paste the channel ID here and press add ID. Then you can assign a nickname to this. Now you can input the SKUs of the items that you want it to automatically try and check out as it appears in the restock monitor. Type in the SKU and press add. 
or you can turn on multi SKU mode where you can enter a list of SKUs, one per each line instead of just doing it one by one. Luckily for us, if you've configured price checks, we already have a list of SKUs in the price check setting. So I'm gonna go back there and press copy SKUs. Then we go back to monitoring settings and make sure multi SKU mode is enabled, paste it and press add, and it adds all of them in one go. So the way you would use this is that on your web browser, you have to be in the target monitor. When a matching SKU restocks, it'll automatically open up that product page. And if your target module is turned on, it will automatically attempt to check out the product. Now with a proxy support feature, you can actually do this on multiple Chrome instances. So instead of just having one bot running, you can have multiple bots running at the same time, all having different IP addresses and accounts leading to potentially more checkouts. To run multiple copies of this bot, you need to create a new browser profile. So in Google Chrome, click on your circle icon on the top right hand side and press add Chrome profile. You can continue without an account and name it whatever you want. This browser profile is going to be completely independent of the one that you already have. From here, you install the extension as you normally would on this new browser. And I recommend actually putting in the proxy before you log into or creating a different target account. Whenever you buy proxies, they come in a list with the format of IP port username password. So just copy and paste one of these proxies and you might get prompted by the browser to input the username and password of the proxy again, paste a proxy into the field. And from there, you should be able to pull the username and password. The target account that you have logged into this new browser should be different. As far as the details and payment that you use in the account, I would highly suggest watching the seminar I conducted talking about how to get more checkouts and less cancellations. That's going to be linked in the description of this video. It's only accessible to premium members though, and it's a must watch if you're having trouble checking anything out, or if you feel like you should be getting more checkouts. But generally speaking, you want to have different information so that retailers are less likely to cancel your orders. And that's also the whole purpose for this proxy support thing anyways. And so that target thinks you're a different customer purchasing from different IP addresses. So when that's all set up, you just sit on the target monitor on both browsers. And if something drops that has the SKU that you have set up in your monitoring settings, then both account number one and account number two will attempt to buy from that restock automatically and simultaneously. So let's go over my recommended settings for this bot. For a quantity, target usually lets you do three quantity, but if you do this, you should expect a smaller number of checkouts. However, it could save you on shipping costs. If you do only one quantity, this would be the safest and should net you the most amount of checkouts, but you'd end up paying more for shipping. So it's really up to you what you want to set this to. Personally, I think two is a decent middle ground, so I have mine set to two. But for more limited items, one quantity would be the safest. Use by now button isn't too fleshed out yet, so I recommend leaving this turned off. Auto close cart page doesn't do anything right now, so you can also leave that turned off. For price check settings, I like to close tab if price check fails, but other than that, that's basically it. Not much else to it. I do plan to at least make a few more updates to the bot, such as closing the tab if it detects that the item is out of stock so that you don't end up with 30 tabs open by the end of the day from all of the checkout attempts. And I also plan to support target cards, which asks for a pin. And also I want to fix the UI for price check. It's actually supposed to look like this, but it currently looks like this, which is pretty ugly. But anyways, hopefully you guys get some checkouts with this new extension. Wish you the best of luck.